So now that we have created our blog content type, let's flesh out the rest of the fields. Now, when you create a new content type, Drupal will add the title and the body field. Now here you can see that the body field has been created, but the title field is treated differently and the title field isn't a standard field type like the body field. It is, it is an entity property, but don't worry, it's there. We just don't see it on this manage fields display. So now that we have the body field already there, we'll need to create three extra fields, a teaser text area, this field will be used to control the teaser when we list out blog posts, a feature image, which will be used as the feature image, and tags. So the tags field will be similar to the autocomplete tags field, which is on the article content type. So to create a field, just click on add field. And from the add a new field dropdown, select text formatted long and give it a label of teaser. Now leave the machine name as field underscore teaser, that's fine, and click on save and continue. And then just leave these set settings as is and then click on save field settings. Make this field required and then click on save settings again. Okay. Now click on add field again, and this time select image. So under reference, select image. And we'll call this feature image and click on save continue. Click on save field settings and leave everything as it is. But take note that you can control a few options from here such as the allowed file extensions. So by default, users will only be able to upload PNGs, GIFs, JPEGs, um, even the file directory where the images will be stored. You can even set a minimum and maximum image re resolution and also a maximum upload size. But we'll just leave everything as it is and just make sure enable alt field and make sure that the alt field is set to required. Now the final field we need to attach to the blog content type is the tags field, but luckily for us, we can reuse existing fields. And let me show you. Click on add field. And because the tags field was added to the article content type, we can reuse it by selecting it from the reuse and existing field. So simply select entity reference field tags, change the label if you want, and click on save and continue. Scroll down and make sure you check tags under available vocabularies and create reference entities if they don't already exist. This will allow you to create new tags if they don't already exist. And this saves you from having to jump to the taxonomy system, create the tag, and then jump back to the blog posts, which can be a bit tedious. So just check that field and click on save settings. Okay, so now at this point we have created and attached our fields to the blog content type. Let's quickly manage the widgets from the manage form display. So click on manage form display. And what I'll do is I'll just reorder this page just so that it's a bit easier to use. So what I've done here is title will always be first and here's the title field. Then we have feature image, teaser, body, and then tags. But we'll need to change the widget to autocomplete tag styles. And then click on save at the bottom. Okay, so at this point we have configured how the widgets will be displayed on the blog content type. Let's now configure the formatters, how the values will be displayed to the end user. So click on manage display. And what I'll do is I will move the feature image to the top, put body on the bottom. The teaser I will disable because remember the teaser will only be used 
when we are listing out blog posts. And what I'll do is I'll just pop tags above links. And remember, we can even control the labels. So let's hide the label for feature image. And let's leave, let's leave it for tags and just click on save. Okay, now that we have configured our content type and fields, let's test everything out by creating an actual blog post. So click on content, add content, and here you can see our blog content type and click on blog. And what I'll do is just call this test blog title. I will add the Drupal icon in again and call this alt text. Make sure you give it a proper alt text. And I'll add in a test teaser. And I'll also add in a value to the body field, test body field. And in tags, I will add in two tags called Drupal and WordPress. Now you can see that this button says save as unpublished. And the reason why it will save as unpublished is because we unchecked the default value where the content type will be published by default. But if you want to publish it straight away, you can just click on this down arrow and click on save and publish. Okay, so from here, you can, you can see our field, our feature image, our body field, and our tags.